Charlie, what are we doing today? What are we doing? All right, it's about time that I get some sort of screen in here to show me all of my parameters for the car. Uh, I'm really sad that I can't have K-Tuner. Well, I could have K-Tuner, but tuners prefer to work with Honda for the ninth gen. And I'm not smart enough to know the specifics for all of that, but I have Honda and I recently found out, I didn't even know this, but I recently found out that they have an app for Android and iPhone, which is amazing. Uh, because K-Tuner does not have an app for iPhone, and they claim that it's for, it's because Apple has these these weird Wi-Fi settings or something, I don't know, That's I'm probably way off, but they said there's some developer reason why they can't do it, uh, but Honda can, so. <clears throat> Ouch. Remember to enter the K-Tuner version two giveaway. The cutoff date is 11.59 p.m. on December 18th, and I will be doing the drawing early in the morning on December 19th, and then I'll immediately go out to UPS, post office, wherever, and mail it out to the winner. All you have to do to enter is go to my Teespring store, my merch store. With a purchase of every t-shirt, you have one entry, and with every sweatshirt, hoodie, you have two entries. So far, I'll show you my spreadsheet. So far, there are only 14 entries. So, the chances are high. But please make sure after you purchase a t-shirt or hoodie, you send me a screenshot of your receipt because I don't have a way of tracking uh, people's names and addresses and all that type of stuff on teespring.com. So if you purchase an order, all it does is show me that an order was placed. It doesn't show me who it was or where they are or anything. So. If you want to make sure you get your entry, please make sure you send me your receipt. Um, that way I can put you into my spreadsheet. Okay, so I already downloaded the app I paid for. I think it was five or six bucks. Holy shit, that is awesome. It auto I didn't even have to... Okay, oh, dude, this is freaking cool, man. I'm gonna show off the car. I stopped recording because I thought I was reading the instructions and I got a little overwhelmed for a second because I'm not very smart. So I thought it was gonna be a huge process but it is not. <laughs> Watch this. Turn on your car. And wait for that beep. Oh, okay, I guess it's not gonna beep. The first time that I did it, uh, it made a really cool like beeping sound on my phone because the app immediately connected to Honda. That's awesome. That is so cool. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have RPM. Manifold pressure, injector duration, coolant temp. Now, let's see what else we got here. So currently we have speed. Ooh, that's a terrible sound. I assume I press and hold to change it, okay. Calculated PIDs, fuel economy, boost pressure, horsepower torque, what? Wonder how that works. Okay, so right now I have five horsepower idling. That will be interesting to see that. Fuel economy, uh, it shows me the fuel economy on there. Let's try something else. Oh, it doesn't let me do G-Force? That's probably for the for the $15 version. There is a $15 version of this app too. Intake air temperature, that's what I want. Intake air temperature right now is 60 degrees. Nice cool day. Okay, so today I'm gonna be recording with the GoPro in uh, linear mode. So it's not gonna be wide view. You're not gonna be able to see as much as you normally see. I think, I have an old iPhone 6. And uh, I think I might use that iPhone 6 permanently in this car, like maybe mount it right here, or uh, I'm not sure, somewhere. I'm getting rid of this soon. I'm gonna get a touch screen in here soon. But anyway, let's go drive around and see how well this works. So today's Thanksgiving. I'm actually gonna go see Vivian. Vivian's working. For those who still don't know, for some reason, Vivian is a store manager at a Starbucks. Dude, I'll tell you what, man. That is a stressful job. Here's a story I can tell you too while my car warms up. Vivian and I met while she was an assistant store manager and I was a barista at Starbucks. And this was last year in 2019, I was working a second job. I'm active duty Air Force, that's my full-time job, but I wanted some more money and I got a second job working at Starbucks. Anyway, one day I went into work and I saw this girl working there and I thought she was absolutely gorgeous and I wanted her to have my babies. Uh, turns out it was Vivian. <laughs> Charlie knows her name. Vivian? Are we gonna go see Vivian? <laughs> She's perking up. So Vivian was my boss for that one day and I tracked her down after that and asked her out and here we are. Okay, let's go over the temps real quick. My coolant temp is at 185. Uh, these old K-series motors, they do run warmer than uh, the L15. 190, 195 is perfectly normal for these cars. This app is so cool. I love it already. 
All right, let's go over the stuff that I have so far. If you just tap it right here in the slot that you're trying to tap in, then it'll change the layout, which is really, really cool. All right, so this is how I have it set up right now. Remember, I just got the app, so I still have to go over a few things. I'm gonna go over their manual and do a detailed um, review of it eventually, but up here I have horsepower, torque, air to fuel ratio, not count, not control, VTEC, it says off. So that'll be really cool to see that pop on when we do a pull in a couple seconds. Coolant temp and intake air temp. And then if you swipe like this, it'll give you uh, a different set of parameters. And it also works this way, that's really cool, man. All right, horsepower, just idling, we're at three or four, torque around 17, 18. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna launch it, actually. Oh, seriously? All right, brother. I'm not sure what to, what RPM to launch this at. Dude, are you kidding me? Why is it still red? Nah, bro, I'm going. Oh, I forgot traction, damn it. Well, you know what? That was gonna be a good launch, but I forgot to take traction off because I don't think sometimes. I just don't think sometimes. We gotta get through this traffic right here. Horsepower, we're at 101. Fuck that, we're not at 100 horsepower. Okay, so I don't know what the hell that is, but that that's not accurate. Uh, my knot count is two. My knot control is still at 46%. Intake air temp 73. Here, I'll just let you guys read it. I'll get really close here. Yeah, so I don't know what's up with those horsepower and torque readings, but those are definitely way off. 100 horsepower, what the hell, brother? Vivian actually works, we're over here. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful place for a pull, too. Always a beautiful time for a pull. Isn't that right, Charlie? Well, it's also good to know that my Acuity cold air intake is doing its job and it's actually getting cold air because the intake air temp is 71 right now and the outside temperatures are, looks like they're 60. So, I mean, that makes sense. Pretty much the same temperature differences that I see with the tension and the Purell Cobra cold air intake. Where is mummy? So I just got a Grande hot white mocha with, uh, half decaf because I had a lot of caffeine today so yeah but this is Vivian's store and it's right by this highway here I think it says I-80 this is yeah this is I-80 interstate 80 pretty cool Got a little back walkway here where I come and see Vivian when she's on her break Babe, people keep asking what you do for work someone just asked this morning if you work for Starbucks I'm like yeah she's a manager that's right. Vivian, my girl, is a manager. Good job, baby. We're against the Starbucks. <laughs> I told them on the way here how we met. Oh, Starbucks? Yep. You are my boss. And now I'm your boss, motherfucker. <laughs> Technically, if you were to come back, I'd still be your boss. She wants to go inside with you. Charlie is actually Vivian's, uh, she's registered as her emotional support animal. Charlie, get out of there. Come on. You have to go with Dad. <laughs> come on. Come here. Okay, bye, baby. Bye. Charlie, come on. Charlie, Charlie. Okay, so what I love about this app already is that you don't even have to press any like connecting buttons. You don't have to do anything. You literally just open the app and it already, it knows to just pair to my flash bar. It automatically did it, which is super, super convenient. I mean, those small little things really make a difference with user satisfaction, you know? So uh, let's see what else we got here. So if we swipe left or wait, how did I get that? Oh, okay, okay. Whoa, diagnostics, okay. Close loop status on. Wow, that's pretty cool. 
trouble codes? No trouble codes. All right, brother, that's what I'm talking about. Service engine light is off. Uh, let's go to dashboard. Okay, so that's what our dashboard is. HUD, a HUD gauge, okay. High coolant temp warning, yeah, let's put that on. Speed limit warning, nah, we're not gonna do that. That'll be warning me all the time. And then add-ons. Wow, that's cool, we have all these different add-ons. Oh, they cost money. Fuel economy, monitor real-time and long-term fuel economy, uh, sensor logger, dash cam, cool. All right, let's just go back to the dashboard and press on. So it's been a couple weeks. I, I've used the app here and there, but I still haven't gotten my iPhone 6 out uh, to permanently be put in there. I was using the iPhone 6 as a dedicated flashlight when I was installing the downpipe four or five days ago now. You guys haven't seen that video yet, but the downpipe install, it wasn't that bad. Definitely easier than the Acuity Cold Air Intake install, like way easier way less stressful, but I, I have concerns about the product itself. Um, but you'll see that when you see it. Also something really cool, a couple videos ago where we installed the carpet, me and Kenny. There are very few people who watched till the end of the video, so probably not everyone heard it. But I asked if I had any Canadian viewers who would be willing to send me some candy, because I love the Canadian candy. I'm, I'm from Northern Maine, I'm from Caribou, Maine. And you know, the border to Canada is right there. So we get uh, we get a mix of some, you know, Canadian culture. But anyway, they have great candy. The big thing over there, like Hershey's is big here, like Hershey's and Mars. Over there, Nestle is huge. So they have these, uh, they have this thing called a coffee crisp and it's basically like a coffee flavored Kit Kat, but it's, it's different too, but it is so good. You wouldn't think that sounds good, but, but I'm pretty sure they use like real coffee coffee beans or coffee something, I don't know. It is phenomenal. So right after I posted that video, I had somebody message me on Instagram and <laughs> say, hey man, I'm up in Canada, what do you want? I'll send it to you. So he just sent me a package today and that's just, that's just so freaking cool. That's so cool. I also raced someone today in my ninth gen. I'm not gonna say what it was. I'm not gonna say who won yet, but you'll see when you see. Other than that, I don't really have anything else. Uh, I'll see you in another two days. Thanks for watching.